Keep your heads up and your arms covered, family. Here's the verse of the day for March 17th, 2023, the day they call St. Patrick's Day. And it's Matthew 317. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Yeshua HaMashiach, also known as Jesus Christ. And today is the five-month anniversary since Christina escaped on 1017. There's that 17 again, victory. And when you go to Luke chapter 17, victory, Jesus Christ said, It'll be like the times of Noah when he's revealed. It's right here, 150 days. And it started on Cheshvan 17, victory. There's that 17 again, victory. And remember, when the last total blood moon eclipse happened, it was on 11-8. The same day as the conjunction with Mercury and the sun. It was Cheshvan 14, and three days after that was 11-11 on Cheshvan 17. And it's right here. You can't make this up. Our Father designed this. When you calculate from that total blood moon eclipse on November 8th, 150 days, when you add 150 days to that date, it lands on Passover, April 7th, family. And when you calculate from 11-11 last year, Cheshvan 17, when the Great Flood started, to April 9th, Resurrection Day this year, the result is 150 days. And when you count 1,290 days from the date that they recognized Islam as God in a Jewish temple and sacrificed a lamb on the Mount of Olives and denied Jesus Christ, it lands on Resurrection Day too. And our Father God is a God of anniversaries. Last time that he raptured anybody was on Nisan 17. When Jesus Christ was resurrected, Matthew chapter 27, verse 52 and 53, and the graves were opened, and many bodies of the saints which slept arose. They were caught up. They were resurrected and raptured. They arose and came out of the graves after his resurrection and went into the holy city and appeared unto many. And we've been through many watches, waking people up. Sounding the alarm, showing the signs. And it's all for his glory. And some of you might think it's too good to be true for Jesus Christ to come back on Nisan 17 and open the graves again on the same date. But God is good. And this could be it. And he could do it again on the same date. And it's lined up with the blood moon, I just showed you. 150 days runs to Passover. And 150 days between 11 11, 2022, Cheshvan 17, and April 9th, Resurrection Day, is also 150 days. It's lined up perfectly. And I'm going to try to make this quick because he's coming quickly. And our rewards are with him to give every man according as his work shall be. And I'm back in California. All glory to our father. I handed out half of the backpacks yesterday with the brother out here and it was awesome. And the people on the streets were very grateful and thankful. All glory to our father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. And everyone that donated is a part of that fruit. And I just got done praying and thanking him and asking him to water those seeds. You reap what you sow, family. And Jesus Christ said, when you give food and drink to the lesser of the brethren, it's just like giving it to him. So if you want to help Jesus Christ, that's one of the ways to do it, is give food and drink to the lesser of the brethren. And blessed are the poor because they're rich in faith. And as we were handing out these packs, they were glorifying God, praising Jesus Christ. 
And a lot of them know that we're in the last days and he's coming to get us. And he said, the signs will be in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. And it's Luke 21, 25. And the spring equinox this year is at 21, 25 UTC time. And he gave me something gigantinormous to show you. But before I show you, I'll show you what's happening right now, today, in the heavens. And the heavens declare the glory of God. And right now, today, you can see that Venus is on one side of what they call Pisces the fish, and Jupiter is now on the other side of what they call Pisces the fish. They're separating since the conjunction. But right to the right, under the fish, right now, today, is Neptune in conjunction with Mercury and the Sun. It's right there. It's happening right now, family. But here's what's gigantinormous. And God just grabbed all of our attention with this conjunction that we've been watching. It started last month with the moon. And then on March 2nd and 3rd, which I'll show you right now, when you go back to March 2nd and 3rd, you can see that's when they were the closest. That's when the conjunction was the closest. And here's a picture of it from Florida. All glory to our Father. Now here's what's gigantinormous that he just showed me that I'm about to share with you and it can't be denied. It happened almost 2,000 years ago. It's right there on the same date, March 3rd in the year 31. And most scholars say that Jesus Christ was crucified in the year 31 or 33. This is so gigantinormous and it gets bigger. Here's why. Because in the year 31, it happened right under what they call Aries. It's right there. And here's what's gigantinormous. It happened in the year 31 in the same place that the blood moon just happened on 11-8, family. In what they call Aries, the sheep, the lamb. The blood moon stood for the blood of the lamb. Has he got your attention yet? We're going home. These are the final signs. It's all leading up to the resurrection, the rapture. He said the signs would be in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. And I just showed you the total blood moon eclipse was in the same place. And when you go to Cheshvan 17, when the flood started, 11-11, the moon was in conjunction with what they call Mars, the wandering star they call the red planet. And I showed you, when you add 150 days to this date, when you calculate between these dates, it's 150 days to resurrection day. And when you add 150 days to that total blood moon eclipse on 11-8, and remember, we're in the 118th Jubilee and there's more. When you add 150 days to 11-8, the total blood moon eclipse, it lands on Passover. And right then is when the sun and Jupiter start going into the fish, the constellation they call Pisces. And as you go through the days to Resurrection Day, they're in conjunction in what they call the fish, Pisces. I don't know how much more perfect this could get, family. This is lined up so perfect. Jesus Christ is so perfect. And no one knows the day or hour but our Father. But we see the day approaching. And we are not in darkness that that day should overtake us as a thief. But he's coming like a thief. When people are eating and drinking and buying and selling and getting married and planting and building, that's when he'll be revealed. We just went over it. Luke chapter 17. Not to mention, these three days right here, Passover to resurrection, are the greatest three days that ever happened in history. So all glory to our Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. 
one of these days, one of these watches, he's going to come and get us. So sound the alarm. Like this video. Share this video. Let's get the word out. That it's five months since the total blood moon eclipse into Passover this year. And from 1111, Cheshvan 17, there's 150 days between Cheshvan 17 and Nisan 17, Resurrection Day. There's that 17 again, victory. Let's go, Jesus Christ. Praise you, Father. So keep watching, because it's going to happen. The Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. I'll see you there when we meet Christina in the clouds and the rest of the dead in Christ, with Jesus Christ in the air.